How do you value money? Nobody understands how to value Bitcoin. The Bitcoin community has tried to develop various models, such as stock to flow, power law, and Bitcoin 24. These models, however, are often debated, and many argue that all of them will be broken. Traditional finance experts find it even more challenging to price this unique asset since Bitcoin itself has no cash flows, making it difficult to value through conventional methods. But maybe we're asking the wrong question. Here's the thing. Individuals value money by using it to price other financial assets. Let me explain. No one is asking how you value a dollar. Investors simply perform financial analysis to decide whether to keep holding dollars or to invest them elsewhere. The problem is, if the dollar itself is losing value, those asset gains might be an illusion. Assets like stocks and real estate often appear to go up in price, but what if that's just the dollar going down? Now flip the lens. Measure those same assets in Bitcoin terms, and many of them actually lose value over time. In other words, what looks like a good investment in dollars might be a poor one in Bitcoin. And that's exactly what Strive and I did recently. We published a report that flips the how to value Bitcoin question on its head by providing a framework to value all assets in Bitcoin terms. Bitcoin is the best form of money because it has the most superior monetary properties due to its high scarcity, portability, durability, divisibility, and fungibility. And if Bitcoin is the best form of money today, then we should treat Bitcoin exactly like we treat the dollar. The question is not what is Bitcoin worth? In a world where Bitcoin is the best money, what is everything else worth? That's the big idea that I published yesterday in my report with Strive titled Repricing the Economy in Bitcoin. The report introduces a Bitcoin denominated discounted cash flow model using Apple as a case study. The key idea is not just using Bitcoin as another asset on your balance sheet, but as a lens for capital allocation. Are you making more or less dollars by investing in stocks or real estate? How about more or less Bitcoin? If Bitcoin is money, we should rethink capital allocation using it as a monetary lens. If you're curious and want to read the full report, you can download the PDF for free. I'll put a link below. Thanks for watching everyone and see you next time.